A snowy start to the week. The lake shore will see the most of it tonight, but there is more snow on the way midweek. Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca here now with that eight day forecast. We had a nice break from the snow. In fact, it was like two weeks long, and now we're going to see day after day of more snow, especially near our lakeshore area. So for that reason, now that the system snow is moving out and we just have lake effect snow, it's our lakeshore counties that are under a new winter weather advisory. This goes through 7 o'clock on Tuesday. So we have 24 more hours where we're going to be adding in more snow. And to be honest, it looks like some of the snow will last even beyond that advisory time frame for our lakeshore areas. So this is our snowfall forecast map, and this is from tonight all the way through Wednesday morning. And through that time frame, we expect a widespread one to three inches of snow. Notice Ottawa County, you will likely be in that one to three inch range. But as we get closer to the lake shore in spots like Muskegon County, Oceana County, and then down in southwestern Allegan and Van Buren, we're talking more four to six inches of snow. Would not be surprised if we have a couple of eight inch bullseyes or more, especially in Berrien County, portions of Van Buren, and then again, Oceana County. Those are kind of the sweet spots here in the next 36 hours. Away from the lake shore, we really are not expecting much snow. At times, we might get some flurries that roll in. At most, we could see an inch of snow over the next uh, two days or so. But if you live away from Lake Michigan, you don't have to worry as much about shoveling. Here's a live look outside. This is Holland, where things are starting to settle down. But boy, does that look nice. Muskegon also looking cloudy, but a slight lull in the snow. And it's been a treat watching our South Haven camera, all the ice beginning to stack up along the lake shore. Really pretty scene there. And right now, Lake Michigan is up to about 19% in terms of ice concentration. Here are our temperatures sitting at 22 in Grand Rapids, 24 in South Haven. With the northerly wind, not only are we going to see lake effect snow showers, we're also going to see our temperatures for the next two days drop off. So our lows tonight will range from the single digits to roughly 15. And as our area of low pressure swings out, it's going to help to wrap in the cold for the next two days to keep us nice and chilly. That means Tuesday, a high of 18, Wednesday, a high of 17. Again, Tuesday, more clouds than anything inland, but still some stacking lake effect snow showers. Here's your future cast. You can really clearly see the band of lake effect snow. This is overnight tonight through 5 a.m. on Tuesday. We continue through Tuesday. Again, at times, the band swinging inland a touch, but most of the time, it's just going to be heavy along the lake shore. Here's the eight-day forecast for you. If you live inland, better chance of seeing some snow on Tuesday than Wednesday. Wednesday inland, you'll probably have a good chance of seeing some sunshine. Right now, the weekend's not looking too bad, and even next week, rebounding into the 20s. So balmy. 28 <laughs> degrees. Yes. It's going to feel like it. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks, Ellen.